All right, so tonight we're going to just basically do some shooting, stick handling, and passing just to get you guys used to uh, the puck again after the, the break. We really haven't had much of a practice like that, so let's go have a good one. My name is Garth Rickwood, and I'm the head coach of the Brantford Ice Cats Midget AA hockey team. And I've played hockey here in Brantford since I was probably four years old growing up, and I played junior hockey and senior A hockey here in Brantford as well, and then started coaching when my children started playing hockey at four years old as well. So we're just going to get into the first drill we're going to do is a short and long. So Brooke, just Hey, just watch, right? Just jump in the back. Um, and then we're going to do the Sabres drill. And then we're going to go into the flow drill. Okay, so we'll do those three. Then we'll grab a drink of water. So just hard passes, good shots, warm the goalies up, right? We need to practice good, so we play good, all right? So all four corners. So short will be here, long, short, and long. I would say what keeps me motivated is the level of hockey and these girls come out, the passion they bring and they're looking to move to the next level. They're looking to move on to the Women's Junior League and to the Canadian University Hockey League as well and uh, Division One Hockey in the States. Let's see it. Get those legs going. My name is Kayla Durant, and I am the goalie coach and trainer for the Brantford Midget AA Girls Hockey Team. Flow drill. Flow drill. I didn't actually start hockey until I was in grade nine. Um, so it's been a short road, but I played high school hockey, I played club hockey, and as uh, my journey began with hockey, I realized it was a big passion of mine, and I decided to try out for the Waterloo Warriors um, hockey team when I went to university. So I was uh, a walk-on, which is pretty strange. They don't normally accept goalie walk-on, so that was a really big accomplishment for myself. Um, after going five years of university playing varsity hockey, I just want to give back to my community and to the girls that are looking to get to that next level, um, offering their support, mentorship, guidance, um, as much as they need. And I just love being at the arena. It's my second home, and I really look forward to coming here with the girls during the week. Like she took too long, so I got stuck. Yeah, just keep your feet moving yeah. though, and get and just get in a good position. Slow up if you have to. Yeah. Since I didn't start hockey until later on in my career, I know these girls have been playing since. They were really young and I know that they have a big drive and passion to do something with their hockey career to help with their education if that's something that they're interested in doing playing at a varsity level their school can be paid for and that's awesome for them and their parents um, as they proceed into real life and have a career so I really just want to give back share my knowledge and expertise my experience and give as much as I can back to these girls. I know how excited they are when I come to the rink because they just, we have fun, we laugh, we really enjoy the experience. I truly believe that people don't remember what you did or how, what you said, it's how you made them feel. So I think that if I'm here and I help them and they have fun and they're enjoying it, they'll remember that. They won't remember all the little things. Head up, head up. The sport of minor hockey is, is fun because all the kids come to the rink and they want to they want to be here and especially at this level it's not the parents it's the girls they want to come they want to get better they want to be on the best team possible to help them achieve their goals so they're eating right you know they're exercising and uh, it, it just makes it all worthwhile because when you come here you know that they want to learn and they want to get better I was telling Paige you gotta turn your body so you receive the pass instead of doing this right it, turn your body so you can receive it on your backhand or your forehand instead of waiting for it. I think hockey has so many benefits um, other than just the game itself. People learn different skills such as respect, fair play, hard work, dedication, and those are things that you can't teach in life and these girls are experiencing that and it's just wonderful to see and I think that every child should be involved with some sort of sport whether it's hockey or not to really build those skills and characteristics as they um, lead their life into a regular job and those characteristics just carry on throughout life so it's good skills to have. There you go Joel, that a girl. My name is Joelle Boissonneau, I play right D for the Brantford Midget Double A Ice Cats. My athletic background is I come from a small town in Timmins, Ontario. It's about eight and a half hours to nine from here and I think I just got scouted from over the years. Two years ago I tried out for the North Bay Double A Ice Cats and one of our coaches were on that team and from there I've been scouted and I got the opportunity to come and play here. 
Here it is, Luke, Luke. What I love about hockey is it's always given me confidence in being a better player. It's given me the opportunity of meeting new people and getting to know a lot of great girls on this team and to develop a really great friendship. Okay, just shoot this time. Minor hockey is so important for me in the community. It gives the opportunity of players going to see other great players on the ice. It gives you a lot of opportunities to see different moves and other talent that is around the rink. And also, hopefully, that she can see on TV one day as well. Jill, I want to hear you call it. The skills I would say that hockey gave me would probably be to get out of my personal bubble and to explore different opportunities that you have. And if you have opportunities, to take it and take the chance, like I did with the move of moving away from home. It gave me the opportunity of being a better player, getting scouted more, and it's just an incredible experience. I would do it over and over again if I had to. Go ahead.